Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New Orders Morocco. So, I'm not quite ready to declare war yet, but I'm getting close. I need to wait a few more turns for the oil, then I will be able to upgrade my last frigate. Or second last frigate, because technically I got one more over here. So, maybe I'll use both. And I also need to upgrade a few land units. Finish dynamite, perhaps get my artillery in Bolawayo. I will only have one artillery unless I spend gold to buy another one. But that's all I need really. Oh, and Shaka already has some fighters. Alright then. Might be a good idea getting some of my own fighters then. But can I dedicate the production time to actually get any? That's a good question. Not necessarily. I need my research labs. And I want the Prora in my capital. I could always buy one, I suppose, or I could just ignore it. He only has one fighter so far, so maybe I'll just ignore it. Anyway, trade route. I don't like the city right next to Casablanca, but not much I can do about it. He stole my oil, unfortunately. But I have more than enough oil, so whatever, I don't really care all that much. Anyway, 18 gold per turn, yeah, let's go for that. I could use one trade route. To add production in Amsterdam, I actually changed my production to archaeologist. I can use the extra tourism and culture. I'm getting very close to 10% with both Venice and India. So I should hit 10% with them before they pick their ideology. They definitely won't go for autocracy. I would be very surprised if they did. So I want to get exotic. Another cargo ship. Oh yeah, that's just trade route with Venice that expired. And my research lab in Marrakesh is almost done. That should give me a nice boost. Oh, and one more thing I can do is get Polynesia to vote for world ideology. Because right now, Shaka proposed autocracy as the world ideology. I could get Polynesia to vote for that. Which might or might not be enough. I assume Shaka will vote for it, so if I vote for it as well and buy a few votes from Polynesia, that might be enough. I think I'll do it. It's probably worth it. Yeah, because if it passes, I will not only get extra delegates, all the civilizations will get extra pressure for autocracy. So that would actually help me quite a bit. I think I'll do it. Right, let's have a look then. What does he want for it? So, world ideology, autocracy, and yes. Alright, he wants iron, horses, and coal. I won't give you open borders. I think I'll go for that. I have more than enough coal. I don't need iron. I don't need horses. Maybe some gold per turn instead of open borders. I could use open borders from him. Yes, that's actually not a bad idea at all. Let's try like this. Alright. Because this way I will get extra influence with him, but he won't get extra influence with me. And obviously his ideology is freedom, so I don't want him to get 30%. He's at 20.5 and I'm at 4.7, yeah. So I'm not even close to 10%, he has a massive culture pool, 30,000. So I'll need to get 3,000 tourism with him, yeah. And I'm in negative happiness. Did I lose my alliance? Yes. I lost Carthage or Genoa. Is that a mercantile city? It is. But I have the quest. I think I'll just drop 500 gold. Yeah, I'm making 134 gold per turn. So I'll just give them 500 to stay ahead. I need to keep the mercantile city-states. The second one is Colombo, but my influence in Colombo is fine. I might actually get extra influence through this quest. 10 turns remaining and I have the lead, so I should get extra influence from that. I could bribe Tyre, but that would involve spending a lot of money. I do have a spy in there, so I'm hoping he will rig elections and then I can bribe the city. If I finish Prora, I'll get a lot of happiness, but that's going to take 24 turns. Anyway, I should assign the specialist here and maybe change it to full production. I could make the city grow in 8 turns and then switch to full production. Yeah, I think that's going to be a better way of handling it. Alright then. So, I still need to upgrade some of these units. And I need to get my uranium. So, do I want to waste my money for pikemen? 
Not necessarily, that's 290 gold. A little bit expensive. Too expensive for my taste. Alright. I'm almost done with railroads. I will get railroad technology in, what, 14 turns? I don't think I'll get any great scientists before that. So I'll get started on my railroads ASAP. I want to connect Amsterdam ASAP. That's going to be the number one priority to get the production boss in there. I do have Eiffel Tower queued up. I just decided to get my archaeologist first to grab one of these antiquity sites before someone steals them. I'll probably send him here and see if these two sites are still there. Because if they are, Polynesia or Venice will probably grab them soon. Other than that, I think I'm done with all the improvements really. So this worker is going to be a bit unemployed for now. I could grab the oil right here, but I don't think I need to waste my money for that. I would have to spend 125. Yeah, the borders will just expand there naturally from the looks of it in three turns. So I'll wait for that. And right, I finished the oil well. Now I can upgrade my frigate, grab the uranium. So there we go. Where's my last frigate? There it is. That was convenient timing. So I will upgrade this one as well. That gives me how many battleships? That gives me seven battleships. Yes. No, six battleships. That's more than enough, probably. I might actually ignore Quagdoza, I'm not sure. Thing is, Polynesia is trying to ban Citrus in the World Congress right now. So if they succeed, I won't get the extra happiness from this city. Okay, two great war bombers and one triplane. I might want to get a triplane or two. I do have flight. Okay, Shaka launched a surprise attack on Rabat. Okay. Well, that's not going to work for him. I could try to get Polynesia to declare war again. And I think I will. Oh great, he stole military science. That's so annoying. Mayete. Yeah. Yeah, I demand he stops spying, Nezen. but he obviously won't. Oh well. It's tempting to go for Golden Age, but I need the extra tourism. And a little bit of extra culture won't hurt, so let's go for that. My World's Fair reward is still active, so I'm getting 228 culture per turn. That's really nice. So can I get him to declare war? Yes, I can. How much oil do I have right now? Only two oil. But I can get seven more from this. So I could actually go for that deal. And obviously I can get a lot of oil from here and here. Yeah, that's eight oil and seven oil here. I think I'll go for that. So I'll get him to declare war on Shaka. I'm not going to wait for Shaka to declare war on me. I can always just do it myself. So 8 gold to iron to oil. Accept. Alright. He's not anywhere close to Shaka, but he could maybe attack him. I'm not sure if he has a fleet, but if he does, he could send it west and attack some of these cities or whatever. I'm not sure, but it will distract Shaka a little bit. Probably discourage him from attacking me. Oh yeah, now I don't have enough oil. There, I have to wait for this. Oh well, whatever. I have more than enough battleships for now. So this can go in here for now. Another cargo ship. Alright, now I just need to upgrade some of my land units. And get some fighters. 18 gold per turn. Yeah, I'll go for that one instead. So, can I get some fighters and where? Should change this first. So this goes here. Yeah, some of my cities grow recently. I'll just check them out real quick. This looks fine. I don't really have any tiles with decent food output, so I'll keep the worker on the mine. Well, I could always work one of these ocean tiles. And the city will grow in 7 turns instead of 8. Research lab. That will slow down the research lab, so yeah. This is fine actually. So next. This is fine as well. Yeah, this is set to production focus right now with the academy locked. And I'm going to keep it that way. The archaeologist is almost done. I queued up the armory. I'm hoping to get a little bit of progress in the Eiffel Tower and then pop it with the great engineer. That's the plan right now. That's why I queued up all these extra things. The great engineer won't complete the Eiffel Tower instantly. So I want a little bit of production 
before I get the engineer. This is fine. And this is fine as well. Alright. Next. Yeah, I definitely need to get a triplane or two. Hmm. Maybe I could get proper fighters before I declare war? Nah, that seems unlikely. I'm nowhere close to radar. I would have to get ballistics and then radar. Probably not worth waiting for that. Yeah, it's definitely not worth waiting for that. Oh, nice. Extra unit from Banza Congo. I can definitely use that. That's actually very useful. I got one rifleman with evil spirits. That was the Chris Swordsman from the City State. This is a negative promotion, so I don't really want that. I might gift that rifleman to a City State. Minus 30% penalty when defending is a bit harsh. So I don't think I want to waste my gold to upgrade him all the way to infantry. I'll just gift him to one of the City States. That seems to be the best use of that unit, honestly. So Colombo... Am I getting low with any of the city states? 162, yeah. Milan? 109. That's fine. I could gift that unit to Tyre. That's not a terrible idea. I still want to get allied with this city state. I'm actually about to lose my friend's status, which means I will lose some happiness. Okay, I'll give them the rifleman. That's fine. I do have a spy in there. I want to wait to get allied with this city-state before I declare war on Shaka. And not just for the happiness, but also for the uranium. This is like the only city-state with uranium. And I'm not even sure if Shaka has any uranium. I can probably see it. Well, he won't trade it, that's for sure. Well, either way, I want to get allied with that city-state before I declare war on Shaka. Because once I declare war on Shaka, I won't be able to get allied with it. I will be permanently at war. Until my war with Shaka ends, obviously. Fess is about to grow. So I'm doing quite well right now. Shaka doesn't have battleships yet, so I need to declare war on him in reasonable future. Before he gets battleships himself, I need to take advantage of the fact he's behind. How many technologies behind is he anyway? Let's check that. I'll just finish dynamite. So, technologies. He's seven technologies behind, wow. I'm massively ahead right now, I didn't even know I'm that far ahead. Nice. How's the science output? Yeah, I'm number one in science output. And Polynesia actually has more cities. So, did I finish a research lamp somewhere? Just checking my specialists real quick. No, this is fine. Alright. So, what are these? Yeah, I'm losing influence with Manila. What city is that? Maritime city-state. It's not that important. I should be able to get influence from this quest. What's next? Yeah, I'm about to lose my friend status with this one. Oh, three turns remaining. Do I want to bribe them? 129. Yeah, I don't think I want to bother with that. Nah, that's a bit of a waste of money. This is a religious city-state. It's allied with Venice, so it won't declare war on me. I'm okay with that. And yeah, this city-state. I'll have to spend some money, because I'm about to lose my happiness, and I'm at zero. I'm not sure if I want to waste 500, honestly. I assume my spy will succeed, but I need to wait 11 turns for that to happen. That's a lot of turns. Alright, well, let's just wait one more turn. Will I get any extra happiness from anything? Yeah, I will get extra happiness in 5 turns. Problem is, I can't trade for any luxuries. Actually, hold on, maybe I can. I think I can trade with Dido. Maybe. Possibly. Can I denounce Shaka again? Yeah, someone picked ideology, so... No, I don't think I'll lose any happiness from that, because I'm already exotic in Venice. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah, Venice. I'm not getting any pressure from Venice, so that's fine. Yes, I'm exotic in Venice, and I assume Venice is exotic the other way around. Yes, so that's fine. They are nowhere close to 30%. What about Polynesia? 21%. Yeah, they are getting close to 30. I don't like that too much. I need to get 10% with Polynesia before Polynesia gets 30% with me. Because otherwise, 
I will take a huge happiness penalty. Alright, so archaeologist. I still want to send him here to grab one of these, if they are still there. So that's what I'm going to do. That will cost me a few turns, but I can always grab this antiquity site. My border might actually expand there eventually. Anyway, this guy goes here. I'll keep him in the back. I don't want Shaka to get suspicious. Yeah. Alright, so... Should I declare war yet? He moved his fighters. Yeah, he's probably fighting Polynesia. Oh yeah, Polynesia does have a city that's fairly close, but it's still not directly next to Shaka's territory. I hope he's fighting Polynesia. That's what I want to happen. Before I declare war, I need to take care of my cargo ships. I'll have to destroy these frigates on the same turn I declare war on, because otherwise they will just plunder my trade rounds, and I don't want to let that happen. Oh yeah, I should upgrade my cannon, so that's going to cost me 200. I'm still going to wait for Tyre. The happiness from it is just worth way too much to ignore. And I won't be able to get allied with it if I declare war. Also, I can just block the way here to prevent Shaka from moving through. Yeah, I could just buy one of these ocean tiles. And I think I will. Yeah, no longer friends with all these city-states. And I didn't drop into the negatives. Okay, that's fine. So, do I want to buy this tile? Yes, I think so. Wow, 255? Never mind. I can just block the way like this, but that won't really help a whole lot. Alright then. I still need the extra oil. But I need to wait a few turns for that. 7 turns for railroad. I'll get started on my railroads ASAP. I don't have that many workers, but it should be enough to finish them in reasonable time frame, I guess. So, next. How many turns for that oil well? 8 more turns for the oil well, yeah. The oil wells take a while. I don't actually have refrigeration yet, so I can't get offshore platforms either. But it's fine, Shaka's time will come. I might just go directly for Olundi, I'm certainly considering it, although this city won't take long to conquer, probably not. I'm at zero happiness. I don't like being on zero happiness, but I will finish the Colosseum in two turns, so there's that. Right, so these workers will just wait for Railroad to finish. This guy will stay here, finish the mine. Alright, another cargo ship. I'm still kind of tempted to send a little bit of production to Amsterdam, but I would have to use a crappy caravan for it. So, nah, it's a bit of a waste of a trade route slot, so I won't do it. 19 turns for Prora. Once I get Prora, most of my happiness problems should be solved, but Shaka does have flight now, so he could actually beat me to it. I hope he won't. He is at war with Polynesia now, so I'm hoping he won't be bothering with wonders right now. I only need 16 more turns. I can actually switch this to full production now that the city grew. So that's 14 turns. Yeah, 14 turns is reasonable. I don't think Shaka will beat me to that. He only got flight recently, so... I do have a big advantage. Alright, I do have open borders with Polynesia. I don't have to go around. Alright, so this guy will go here. I'll get started on this railroad as soon as I finish railroad research. And now I'm in the negatives. Time to bribe Tyre. I will get Colosseum on the next turn. But I'll give them a little bit of money anyway. No, I'm still in the negatives. What? Oh, I was friendly already. So I have to wait one more turn. Can I get some luxuries from Dido? That would be nice. She does have Ma some extra luxuries, but she's not willing to trade at all. Well, that's annoying. I have a lot of negative modifiers with her. So this is not going to happen, apparently. Oh well. What about Polynesia? It sucks that Polynesia doesn't really have any excess luxuries. I'm only getting gold from them. Gold as in the luxury resource gold, not gold as in money. Yeah, this kind of sucks. It's mostly Shaka and Dido with the excess luxuries in this game. I have so few luxury trades in this game. 
I think this is the fewest luxury trades that I had in any game in the past year. I only have one trade for a luxury and that's really bad. Hopefully I won't have to worry about my happiness once I finish Prora. I just need to beat Shaka to it. Well, if Shaka beats me, I'll just take the city he built it in. Okay, nice. The antiquity site is still here. So let's grab that then. I wonder if the other one is still there, but... I don't really have time to get yet another archaeologist right now. Right, you go here. I could try to get this one there as well. In Amsterdam, maybe. But Amsterdam's production is really not amazing, honestly. 38 is technically my second highest production city, but it's at less than 50% of Marrakesh's production. That's just really not impressive at all. How's Tyre doing? I'm still waiting for my spy to rig elections. I hope he will. Yeah, 5% chance. A little bit too low. Minus 3 happiness. Great. Come on. Oh, that's because Venice stole Colombo. What a douchebag. Seriously? Oh, I finished some quest on the same turn. <laughs> well, that was the most convenient timing I've ever seen. <laughs> Sucks to be Venice. <laughs> yeah, that was very funny timing, I have to say. I actually do have quite a few workers. I thought I had less than that. And there's another one in here. Yeah, the railroad to Amsterdam is number one priority. Oh, and yeah, I will finish the armory in two turns. Can I get more happiness here? Yes, I can get armory, but that's 18 turns. A little bit too long for my taste. I can also get a zoo, or I can grab a workshop. I don't need the walls in here. At least I don't really think so. Alright then. I still want to get this tile to block the way, but I don't want to waste 255 gold to make that happen. Anyway, I'm almost ready to declare war. I don't want to delay this too much. But I do have a huge technology lead, as you could see. I'm seven technologies ahead. I'm only really worried about Shaka spamming triplanes and great war bombers. But even if he does, I can probably handle that just fine. So... Hmm. I just really want Tyre before I declare war. He's 65 ahead of me. And I need four more turns to rig elections. Yeah, I'm going to wait for that. I will finish that oil well in four turns. So that means I can upgrade my last frigate. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I waited this long, so I can wait a few more turns. It's not like he's going to get battleships in a few turns. What? Friendly trade route plundered? Oh yeah, he plundered a trade route from Polynesia to me. But that wasn't mine, that was Polynesia's trade route. So they are kind of fighting each other, I assume, somewhere, which is good for me. Let's have a look at military manpower real quick. Yeah, Polynesia is number one now. Mine is not very impressive, but these numbers can be deceiving. Obviously, my battleships are worth a lot more than they are on paper on the military manpower score. So I got uranium now and I'll get more once I get tired. I don't need this worker here anymore. He can go help with the railroads. Do I have a harbor in Bolawayo? No, I do not. I should get one then. Yes, I'll get the harbor after the workshop. Because I want the production boss in Bolawayo as well. Copper. Oh yeah, I can get extra money. Wow, he has a lot of gold. Which is not very surprising on DT, I suppose. So, three more turns. If my spy fails, I'll be really upset. Because I waited specifically for him. I hope he won't fail. Come on, 10 more turns for Prora. This should give me at least 15 happiness. You get one happiness for every two policies, I believe. Yeah, you get plus two happiness. And plus one happiness for every two policies adopted. And one policy for free. So that should give me a lot of happiness. Maybe not 15, but should give me around 10. I can also get extra happiness from this, but I don't really want to. I'd rather get free thought. That will give me quite a bit of extra science. I'm already number one, but might as well maintain that advantage as much as possible. 
So, 755, and now I have 825. Okay, that was definitely worth it. That was the right choice. And I can pick a technology for free. So, I just started researching refrigeration. I think I'd rather grab ballistics. Oh yeah, that will give me entire aircraft guns. I could also get combustion for destroyers and land ships. I think I'd rather get ballistics, because then I can get radar next. I could actually ignore refrigeration and go directly for radar if I pick ballistics. I need to think about this for a bit. I'm actually going to finish this part here and decide this at the start of the next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.